Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how to make the pentagon lanyard. So what you're going to need are five pieces of string that are five feet long and then another five pieces of string that are two feet long. So what you're going to do with that is you're going to take three of the five foot long strings and one of the two foot long strings and you're going to make a three color wall but you're going to put your shortest string in the middle. So right now I'm using my orange, just kidding, that's pink, I'm using my pink to as the main string and then I'm inserting my green which is long so that's the five foot string and that's being woven in right now and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a two foot long string and that's this white here and I'm going to weave that in as well Now I'm going to take a five foot long string and I'm going to weave that in. And this should give you a three color wall once you're done. If you want the sides to be wider, you can just add more string. So now I'm just going to pull it all tight and voila. So that's how you start a three color ball. So now that you have one wall done, what you want to do is you want to loosen up the stitch on top. So let me get this in the camera. Okay. So I'm um, see how I'm loosening the stitch that has the loop on it, and it's on the top. And then, so now I'm going to use that as if it were my new main string. So I'm going to weave in one five foot long string and that's going to be on the end and then in the middle is going to be a two foot long string. First I'm going to put in the shorter string. So what I'm doing is I'm going in between the two strands and the one strand in the bottom and then I'm going to weave over the first strand on top and then go under the next one and then I'm going to take the other string and I'm going to go over the first and under the next like ooh, so <laughs> so this is similar to the fluted columns so if you know how to do that this is pretty much the same thing but instead of loosening the strings in the middle you're loosening them on the sides and then you're going to connect everything Alright, and so now I'm going to insert my longer string. So you want to make sure that you double up your ends so that they are the same length. And then I'm just going to weave those in as well. I'm going to tighten up my green string and the two strings that I just inserted. And now you should have an L shape. So now what I want to do is I'm going to loosen up the blue string and I'm going to do the same exact thing I just did. And I'm going to insert one longer string and a shorter string in the same places too. So the longer string goes on the outside 
and the shorter string in the middle. So I'm going to turn it and then I'm going to loosen up my blue. So I've loosened my blue and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a string that is two feet long and I'm going to stick it in between the three strings. So there should be two strings on top and one on bottom. And then I'm just gonna weave through those two strings on top. This is also very similar to a scuba tunnel. However, you're adding another side. Alright, so once I have both of my strings inserted, I'm just going to tighten that up. Alright, so now I have three sides. So this last part can probably get a little tricky. So, let's see if I can... Uh, teach this correctly. So what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to loosen up your, so for me I'm loosening up my glow in the dark string here. And so now I'm going to take out my, the green string or the main wall that you started with and weave it into the fourth wall as if it were just one of the strings on the side. And make sure that you weave it back into place so that, it, that the whole thing doesn't fall apart. So I'm loosening my, I'm taking my green almost completely out, but I'm leaving half of it in. So just the part with the loop, that's what I'm taking out. And this is the loop that's facing the inside of the pentagon. So I'm taking that all the way out. And then I'm going to weave it into the glow in the dark. It's a little hard to see, sorry. So I'm going in between the two strings and then I'm going back over the first one and under the second. And now I'm going to put that back to where I just took it out from. And now that's back into place. So we have one of the green strings woven into the other side, but now we got to do the other one. So for that, I'm just, you can, you don't have to untuck it or anything, you can just weave it over the first glow string and under the next. Alright, so before you tighten it or anything, you gotta insert the two strings that are two feet long into the sides. So we're looking at this now, and so I have these two glow-in-the-dark strings here, and that's where we're going to put that one of the two-foot long strings. So let me grab it. Here we are. 
All right, so see what I'm doing? I'm going in between. There's two strings on top and one string on bottom. And then I'm gonna weave. Sorry, I have to get, okay. Make sure your sides are all the same length, yes. All right, so I'm going over this first glow in the dark right here and I'm going under the second one and then I'm going to take my other part of the string and I'm going to go over the first and under the second or I should say over the second and under the first Alright, nice job. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do that to the other side as well. And then we're done. So we just got to weave that last string in. So I'm making sure that my sides are the same length. And then I'm going to go over this first green strand and under the next. And then I'm going to go using my other part of the string for the wall. I'm going to go over the second and under the first. And once you make sure that everything is nice and uh, flat and not twisted, then you can go ahead and tighten your pentagon and that's what you should have. You should have a pentagon. And so the stitches for this are basically the same as the scuba tunnel, but you just have an extra side. Now, if you're still uncomfortable with doing the stitch, um, don't worry because I'm about to show you how to do the stitch. But I'm going to show you the stitch that I did after the first stitch because I had all my strings kind of going every which way and it didn't look like it was a very good shot. So I'm just going to show you the second one. So in tightening my strings, what I find is most useful, most helpful is to hold all the strings that are going the same way in the same direction. And then I just, and so I have all the strings that are kind of hanging off to the right, I put those all on my right hand. And all the strings that are hanging off to the left, put those in my left hand and I just kind of pull. And then I twist, or I kind of twirl the lanyard around and I tighten each side two sides at a time. And then I also like to pull on the main strings, be, or the longer strings, because that just makes everything that much tighter. So that's what the pentagon looks like. Now for the first or the second stitch, I guess. Everything's the same. So now I have all my strings that are in the center. They're all up, kind of sticking out. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this string on top. This is my pink string. And I'm going to bring that down in the space that's next to the string across from it. And it's the same color, so you shouldn't get confused. And then I'm going to take the string that's on the bottom, and I'm going to lift that up into that little space next to the string as well. And that should be the same color. So use the colors as your guide. And then I'm going to weave in my other main string. So start off with all the longer strings first and then you can go back and weave in your sides. So for my green I went over the first pink and under the next and then I took my other green and I went over that second string and I went under the first. So then I turned my lanyard and what I'm going to do is I'm going to weave the other main string in. So I'm taking my green and I brought it up and I went over that loose strand that's kind of hanging out there and I went through the loop that's on the other side of it. And then I took the green that's on top and I went over that loop and under that one string that we just went over with the other string. So once we have that all nice and in there, what we're going to do is we're going to turn our lanyard again and we're going to do the same thing for the blue. So we're going to bring, so I'm bringing my blue that's kind of on the bottom here and I'm bringing that up 
and I'm going to weave that in through that green strand up top. And then I'm going to do the same for the other part of the blue. So now comes the little more complicated part. Now we have this glow in the dark string that we gotta work with. And so what we're gonna do with this is I'm gonna take my glow in the dark and I'm gonna go over my first green strand and under the next, and then pull that forward. And then I'm gonna but then I'm gonna take that same glow in the dark string and I'm gonna also go over the first blue and under the next. So we're kind of weaving everything all the way together. And this is what connects everything into one pentagon. Alright, so now is the time that you can actually go around and weave in your shorter strings. So I'm going to start with my dark green first and I'm going to go over my, tur my glow in the dark and under the next one and then over and under. Let me get in nice and close here so you see what I'm doing. going over the first one and under the next. And then I'm going to turn the lanyard a bit and I'm going to work on a different part of the wall. So I'm going over, under, and then the other side, over, under. So you gotta separate those main strings so that they're not in your way, and then you weave in your wall. Alright, so once you have all of your sides woven in and all your main strings woven together, now is the time that you can tighten everything. So you can do this by pulling on all of the strings in the middle and all the strings on the side, or you can do it by tightening your main strings first and then going and doing the sides. It's up to you.
So that's basically how you do the stitch and how you start the pentagon. So I hope this tutorial was super duper helpful. And make sure you subscribe because we're going to have new videos coming out uh, like every week. So uh, happy summer and happy Friday.